We're heading off, Millie. Money out. Yeah. We'll see you in a couple of weeks, okay? We'll have some gold by then. Yeah. You and Mum and the Wabbit are coming down to Victoria, okay? Mum won't let me bring the Need to come down and visit. <laughs> yeah, you bring the rabbit down, you'll be right. Mum said not to. We'll have some gold. We'll have some gold by then. And he's looking after it. Oh, okay. You gonna bring the rat down? Oh, we've had enough to put it in. See what happens. Give me a hug. Oh, but get you some more earrings. We will. Okay. Won't we, Charlie? Yep. And you can get some gold out of Victoria. Bye, bye, Millie. We're gonna miss you. Yeah. Have bye. a good day. Have a good day at school. Have a good day at school, Millie. Good boy, Charlie, hugging your sister. Bye-bye. Bye, Munchkin. when you put on second-hand tyres, eh? I couldn't find one in Nara, so we'll go to Goulburn and get one, hopefully. Looks like it's leaking out of the gearbox. Pass me the camera, Jake. Oil there everywhere, all over the sump. And all the all the transfer cases wet. I have to take this guard off and I'll see what's bloody leaking. What's going on? We made it, Jack. Hey? Eh? Three days of driving. At a secret spot. We've never found gold here before, but we're going to have a little go and see what we can find. We'll go for a walk after lunch, Charlie, okay? Yep. Some blokes found a lot of nuggets. Big gold nuggets over in these ranges on the other side. We're not allowed over there, it's all under lease. We're going to stay on this side. The ground looks really good. Yep. Camp here tonight? Yeah, and there's a lot of iron stone over there. Iron stone? Yeah. You saw the black pebbles? How about we get, take the camera over and show the people what to okay. look for, okay? Show us all the iron stone, Charlie. We can see all the lumps of quartz. Look at all that in Charlie's hands. They call that salt oh. and pepper, black and white. What here? Yeah, ironstone and quartz. I don't know how far we're going to walk today. Let's hope we do a lot of walking. Yeah, we're not All right, plenty of water. We'll see you in a few hours.
see what's happened in the last 24 hours. The battery on the metal detector is not working. It's about six years old, we guess. It's only charging for half an hour. So we're limited to digging out the creek beds and sweeping the last tiny bit of gravel in the bottom, in the bedrock. That's where the gold's caught. Charlie's found a little bit with his toothbrush, I'll show you. Yeah, bring it close. It's right there. Keep your finger there, Charlie. I'll come in and have a look. Oh yeah, it's like shining in the sun. All this gravel, all this gravel we're seven, we'll take away and put through the sluice box. Hopefully there's a few more little bits. Okay, we'll keep working, eh? Yep. Keep still. Just tilt your hand out a bit. Put your finger on it. Yeah, the first nugget for the day. It's only a little round one, but at least we've got to start to the trip, eh? And I can't believe I got it. Mm. It's like the first or second one I've ever specced. This is what you do when you haven't got a detector. Find a spot in the creek, as I said, on the bend, shovel all the drift off. There's about two foot here. You've heard me say this before years ago when Jack was seven years old, now he's 14. The last 20 mil. Break it all up, all the bedrock. It's full of gold, little flakes. If you do this long enough, sooner or later, you'll come across maybe a nugget somewhere under all this drift that was lost. And take it away and sluice it. This is an old door of someone's house. This is off Bob Brown's house. This is my bed in the back of the truck. I put my mattress on it. If you're in the bush camp and you just put it on two logs, elevate you off the ground, put your mattress on it, sleep on it, and it acts as a sieve. It's a perfect size grain to sieve your gravel through. Yeah, perfect size for gold. Keep the gravel down there. Let me go. Oops. I'm showing the people. <coughs> Yeah, here's my ugly noggin again. And that's what you end up with, a fine grain. Because nearly all the gold is small. Any big nuggets we're going to throw out and use the metal detector to find them. Yep. And we'll take that away and wash it. 99% of the gold is small. Here you go, Jack. There you go, just... And Jack's put it through a finer grain again and graining it right down. So we've got less dirt to carry away to the dam to use the sluice. If there's any nuggets in there, Jack will see it. If there's anything. Yeah. Gold's good for you if you eat it. How? Right? <coughs> Block the sides off because that's where it's all going down. See that? If there's any nuggets. Stop. Jack will see them, won't you? Yep. Any little gold nuggets? Charlie just likes specking them. He's got good eyes. Alright. You just shovel it onto the door. With the gold. If you haven't got a gold pen, put a tarp under it. I've got a good vinyl tarp. It'll collect all the fine stuff. And then run the detector over the stuff at the bottom later when you're finished. You'll get all the gold this way. Unless there's some in quartz and you throw a specimen away. And then you just put... The door, back up there, put your mattress back on it and go back to sleep. It's pretty warm today. We've got a hot and blown. 
The flies will not leave us alone. Tell the boys in the town, see if we can find somewhere to have a swim, one of the dams or something. All that gravel Charlie and me were digging this morning, we put in the blue drum as you can see, brought it over to the dam that used to be this full. We're going to have a swim here today, but no, it's two inches deep. Come over look and I'll show you how to get it out. You a bit hot, are you, Charlie? Yep. You haven't even got a hat on. All right, Jack will show you how it's done. I'm going to put some dirt in it first. There's plenty of air. You tip it at the head of the sluice. Tip another one just down there, Jack, so it cleans it. We'll have a look in the carpet. See there? Charlie can see a little bit there. It's a bit small. There's a bit there. There's one under here, a big bit. And there's a little nugget under there. We'll get it out later. There's a few other little bits. There's a bit there in the carpet. See, the gold gets stuck in the carpet because it's heavy. Another little bit there. Can I some down? Another little bit there. Another little bit there. Another little bit there. We'll pan it out and show you the rest later. Pull all the carpet out of the box. Roll it up. Wash it. For people who have never done this before, I can see gold all through the carpet here. You can see a big piece there. Yeah. There's a nice one there. You get that with a detector. All right, it's in the pan. All right. I'll wash this carpet and I'll be back to you in a few. There might be a gram of gold there. And me and Charlie got another 25 pieces we specked in the bottle. Yeah. It's not bad, there's only two foot square area we cleaned up a bedrock. Have a look. Look at that, Charlie. Whoa. Those pancakes. Good, good. Couple more, eh? One more. Yeah. I'm full. I'm nearly full. Come here for a swim. My oh, belly hurts. There's nowhere to swim. All the dams are dried up. I know. I've got one. i got a bottle of water here for you, Jack. You can have a wash later, radio. Right, There's Mount Alexander in the distance, Jack. The richest mountain in the world. Let's go and try and find one nugget off it, eh? We're back in Victoria. It was too hot in Tipperborough. We couldn't get a battery for the detector. We had to wait over a week. There was nothing for the boys to do. So we decided to pack up and fly down here. We're camping in the back of Tony Mills' house. Had a few beers last night, it was good. Let's see how our luck goes for the next week or so. Come cook Charlie some porridge.
Now, did you sleep last night? Good. One eye shut? Pardon? One eye shut? <laughs> no. Both eyes shut? Yeah. <laughs> Millie sleeps with one eye shut. So she can keep an eye on you. <laughs> Porridge? Yeah. All right. Jack. All right. We found one bit yesterday, right next to the road. We went back there this morning, me and Charlie, and we found another three bits. We walked right over them. We only just heard them. Yeah, they're, so, they're like, you can only just hear them. They're that quiet. After lunch, we'll clean them up with a toothbrush and we'll show you the gold, okay? Charlie's little nugget he dug out of the ground this morning. It's in ironstone and quartz. We'll give it a clean up and see what we come up with, eh? Yep. Ah. Turn on. Okay. Bit of water, Charlie. Nice little specimen you found, Charlie. Can you pick it up? Okay. It'll look good on a big telly, I guess. Your fingers are so dirty. Yeah, it'll look good. How come you boys don't clean your teeth this good? <laughs> Put it on Charlie's face and say that. How come you don't clean your teeth that good, Charlie? <laughs> Smile at the camera. <laughs> You've got a couple of teeth missing, see? That's what happens if you don't clean your teeth. Is your gold flicking off that? I just took something off. I don't know what it was there. There's gold on your finger. It's falling apart, Charlie. Stop, stop for a sec. Is mm. it gold or quartz? <laughs> Gold ankle. Yeah, look at the gold coming off it down there in his pants. Is that gold? Is that, yeah, it's gold. Is that a right picture, Jack? Yeah. Clear? Oh, well, yeah, gold is coming off. I told you that before when we found it was going to be a nice loose specie. Keep going right up to the road, you can turn around and come back. Uh. Going on the main road, Jack. I know. Did you look in the mirror? <laughs> you idiot. Left. No blinker. <laughs> you didn't even look up there, did you? 
What did you do that for? You weren't thinking, eh? You panicked, didn't you? No. You didn't even look up that road and you went straight out. What did you do that for? Uh -huh. Hey? I said clutch and brake. All right. Reverse back and we'll go down. That was silly what you've done. Reverse down that lane, use your mirrors. Watch for cars. Go, reverse, accelerate. All right. Don't ever do that again. That was stupid. What if a car was coming up there? Could run into us. Hey? You think that's funny? No. All right, go left. Go for it, change gears. Third. That's it. Just went straight in. What did you say you wanted to do before? I want to get my license. Where are you going? I have no idea. Everywhere. We're driving over the patch, Jack. First. First. Driving it easy, you are. Not that hard, is it? I'm gonna park, I think, on those other two trees, maybe. No, no, park in the same spot. Keep to the left, because the ropes have got to join up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Whoop, stop, brake. Gone too far. Mm, that'll do. Turn off. Done well. Where you going? To the bar. That's the big dam we went to years ago, Jack. Remember it was empty? That's a lot of water now. Heading to Mount Alexander again. Castlemaine, Victoria. The richest shallow alluvial gold field in the world. Some of the gullies, they pulled tons of gold out of it. One such gully is called Donkey Gully, Golden Gully. That's where we're heading to tonight. Try our luck, eh? Dad. We've arrived at the Castle Main Diggings. Dad. Stop me. We're at the head of Donkey Gully, where they say tons of gold come out of. Hard to believe. The boys are hoeing into a chop we found in the back of the ute. We don't know how long that chop's been sitting in that ute. I didn't tell them. But there was a couple of little things crawling on that chop. I think they were worms. Are you enjoying those worms? Yeah. <laughs> Did you get a worm, Charlie? <laughs> you need a few teeth to chew on that, don't you? Anyway, that's lunch. A couple of chops and egg. And this is the reef mine at the top of Golden Gully. We'll go for a walk and see if we can find a couple of specimens, eh?
Mmm, get to taste. <laughs> what is it? It's probably gonna be a fart. Did you play that? Oh. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna go to the dentist. I've got some teeth falling in there. There you go. There you go. There you go. I like you. I think I'm going to have to give you a kiss. There you go. I like you. Give me a kiss. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my God. It's a dog a mattress! Charlie! Get the dog a mattress! Quick, get it! Is it? Look at it! Where? Is it? What is it, Jack? It's just a caterpillar. Oh no, I thought it was one of those horrible dog a mattresses. It's only a caterpillar. <laughs> you, want another, you want another beer? <laughs> it's all blurry. <laughs> hey, look at, look at, look at Jack, look at Jack, look at Jack. Hello, my name's Charlie. <laughs> you look rather sophisticated. Look what? Sophisticated. Sophisticated. <laughs> right, it'll do us. The ring! Ring him! What are we having for dinner, Jack? Chicken soup. Give me a look what you've concocted here. Here's Charlie's dinner. I'll have to fight him for it. No goal today, Charlie. <laughs> oh, there's a bum crack there. Give us a look at it. Oh, it's pretty dirty. A dead duck. One dead chook. One alive ch chicken. Yeah. No, just start from, start from, go from there. There? Yep. I... Could? Could not have... Im... Uh, in Imag edge. Imagine. Imagine. What... Well... Mm -hmm. Would... Yes. Have... Today, I one would wouldn't yeah one the want want to the day began all right chip let me make the. Oh yeah, is it Dam... 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 Per... Damper. Damper? Damper. Damper. It is a... Mixture... Mixture? Mixture of... Flour. Flour... Flour and water, probably. And water... And... And a... Pib... Pinch, Pinch, Pinch of, of salt. No, salt. Bicarbonate of soda. Bicarbonate soda. It's a big word. Of soda. 
I needed. I needed the, the ingredients. ingredients on a floured floured st st yep. Good boy. Of he's a, he's a he's a good one. You keep doing Stone. it, Charlie, and you'll get good at your schoolwork. Yes, I am. Yeah. Fire. 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 With ash to make hot coals on which to cook it. It look took me a long time to make a bit and I Ended. Ended. Ended up with flour. Is that flour? Yep. Flour all over me. The damper was a bit, bit gritty. Gritty too. Dust. Dust. When no, I no dust from where dust from, from yesterday. yesterday yesterday's storm and found found it was way way into. Everything. Thing. Everything. Charlie, look at me. Give me a look at your teeth, mate. You get some new ones soon, won't you? Yep. Better to chew on those goats, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn the camera off for a little while and we'll give Jack's other little peel, okay? Another trip over. Want to go back? No. Why not? Turn right down. Can you give me a second? Second, Jack. Good girl. <laughs> Nearly there. Huh? Nearly home. Do you want to drive up the hill? Drive in the driveway? No. There'd be no police. Go on. Yeah. Sharp mum. At the corner. Really? Yeah. You getting excited, Spud? Who do you want to see first? I'm off to home. Who do you want to see, Spud? But who do you want to see at home? Bunny. No, Millie. Bunny? Millie. Millie. Hello, Millie. Me shave. Not kissing me. Do you want, do you want to shave, do you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kiss this. Yeah, Dad. Put my arm in there. I know you did. I, I look like two phones or one phone. Twiggy! What happened? You're excited, are you? You're excited, are you? Twiggy! Oi! Shut up.